Hello everyone. So this video is all about the recent OAs that I have undergone for various companies and the companies where JP Morgan and Jays, Indeed, Cognitry, as well as Impact Analytics, these four OAs I have uh, given so far. So let me talk about them one by one and what kind of assessment that was, what was the platform and what was the restrictions and all, how was the time limit, all these things would be covered in this video. So stay tuned. So I'll start off with JP Morgan and Chase uh, and I have applied to that with the help of referral of my senior. The position was that of SD2. Overall, if I just uh, rate the exam, that was of uh, easy level. And uh, basically this was a two coding based problem that they have given onto the HackerRank platform. The first uh, question was all about a greedy problem, kind of an overlapping intervals problem, wherever the longest interval that was uh, getting uh, overlapped with each other, its length you were uh, about to count. So that was the question all about. Second was a kind of ad hoc hashing based problem that they have given. And uh, if you are able to code it without any that much of bugs, it can be easily solved within 20 to 25 minutes. And the overall time limit they are giving is one hour. There is a restriction that into this particular assessment based on their hiring, you are only allowed to code in Python and Java programming languages, correct? Beyond that, you cannot go. Overall exam was easy and uh, this is it. And uh, I was able to solve everything into that and waiting for the further confirmations and results of whatsoever JPMC comes up with. Okay, fine. Going forward, uh, uh, there was yet another exam of Indeed that I have given. I directly applied to the Indeed platform and they have sent me the respective uh, online assessment for the sake of uh, assessing me whether I am fit for them or not. Again, the exam was that of more or less easier to the little bit medium level. That's what I can say. Time limit was near to about 80 minutes that they have given. And uh, there was no coding problem here, but uh, everything was in terms of MCQs, near to about 30 MCQs, I would be saying that was that were there. The interesting thing here is that any MCQ that you are attempting, right, that would be having near to about uh, 1.5 minutes to, let's say, uh, two minutes of time limit, majority of them, few may be having more, few may be having less, something like that, the overall section of MCQs were. And... Uh, how were the MCQs? There were majority of them in terms of uh, single choice correct. And a few of them were also there that were having multiple choices in terms of correct answer. So that's it means that you can select multiple correct answers from the single question. And uh, based on all your selections, that would be marked. What was the topics all about in terms of your respective uh, MCQ answerings? So I would be saying that uh, uh, the problems that were there were more, of, more or less revolving around Java and Python kind of code output prediction. This was one of the sections and uh, that's all. A uh, little bit of, I think, uh, nitty nitties and gritties of Java and Python. They have also mentioned within the OA. REST API basics, that means uh, go, that means basically what kind of methods in terms of post, put, get, patch, all these things. Uh, if suppose you are uh, going to create a new resource into your respective system, what kind of uh, function, what kind of method you are going to utilize, uh, whether that's going to be patch, put, post, what. Such kind of a REST API basic question, basically they have uh, given onto the OA. System design scenarios, as in uh, they would be giving you certain options. And based on that, they can ask you that in what of the scenarios you are going to, you are going to consider caching. So there are multiple, these kind of problems that they have given. Overall, the OA was interesting. I was able to finish that within 30 to 40 minutes and uh, waiting for the results again, what indeed uh, proceeds ahead for. And going forward, post this MCQ exam, I have also given a service-based uh, organization's exam, Cognitry. Why I have given that? Because uh, corresponding to this organization, it's completely remote. And uh, again, there were MCQs and going forward, there were coding problems as well. Overall, it spanned about 1.5 hours, I would be saying. And then uh, what was it all about? So coming to the part of uh, MCQs, that was the largest section. Output prediction again and uh, filling the missing co missing code lines, whatsoever they have given onto the respective code snippet in order for a particular output to be there. And I feel so into this particular exam, whatsoever Cognitive has conducted, there were kind of a aptitude or kind of a logical based questions as well, apart from just coding based MCQs. And then going forward, uh, REST API basics were there, post, put, get, patch similar kind of method based problems and after that there were output predictions and uh, java python based code snippets where you are required to come up with the respective outputs as well as fill the gaps within the code that they have given so these are the two languages specifically that they have given and i was uh, more towards the python lines so opted for the python language sections and uh, going forward into the coding uh, coding scenarios they have just simply given two two uh, two 1ddp based problems and i was able to solve that within 10 to 20 minutes
and nothing that much hard. If anyone has done one DDP based problems, he would be able to attempt them. Overall time uh, was one point five hours. I was able to finish the entire exam uh, uh, in no less than forty minutes. I would be saying, and the again the exam rating. If I just give it, it's gonna be corresponding to that of the easier section. Uh, the platform here was not of hacker rank. Even I have forgotten what the platform was. Platform was all about. So that's it. So corresponding to these three exams, whatsoever I have given. So you need to be ready with the basics in order to answer your MCQs, as well as you need to be very handy with a specific programming language. It's nitties and gritties, as well as coding part should also be good enough so that you are able to attempt all these problems within the time sections. Right, each and every coding section basically that they have given was corresponding to that of thirty thirty minutes, and I just required ten minutes for each coding problem to uh, sum them up. That's it. And going forward, then again for the next exam, I have given for impact analytics, and this was also a SDE two role that they are offering, and it's corresponding to that of majority in terms of Python developer role. So yeah, the platform basically that they have utilized here is Do Select. As well as they connected connected to me via the Naukri platform by getting my profile from there. So overall, the section overall the test was also easier. Uh, and yes, what are the topics basically they have asked? So first two questions were coding. First one was that of graphs BSS question, as well as second was kind of ad hoc math related related problem. And uh, both of them have got solved uh, within thirty to forty minutes. The rest last. Minutes. I have just answered everything in terms of your MCQs. In total, forty questions were there, and uh, it was mostly onto the easier side. Uh, that's all I would be saying. Just one thing I would just like to uh, bring into the picture is that corresponding to the Do Select platform, they are having perhaps some sort of errors because uh, the question statement whatsoever they are writing, this is quite of a bit misleading, right? The question they are writing that is explaining something else. The test cases. Once you go through them, how a sample test case is getting solved? That is getting solved in in some other logic, correct? So some sort of like that uh, uh, a problem that I have faced corresponding to this particular platform. Another thing was that uh, initially the first question related to that of graphs. It took me at uh, at most twenty five to thirty minutes to just solve for graphs the first one, even though that was a simple BFS based problem. Why that was so? Because uh, Initially, after running the same problem, same solution three to four times, I was getting errors. But going forward, after solving for the second one quickly and coming back to the first one again, I submitted the same solution back and it got accepted. That was the issue that I faced there. And uh, then going forward, in the last fifteen minutes, I was able to just uh, handle all the respective MCQs. I think there were in total of twenty-two questions here, twenty MCQs were there, and two coding problems were there. So that's what impact analytics all about. Near to about uh, one thing I liked about the platform is they are giving the respective uh, results. Uh, not uh, they are giving the respective results and the entire assessment based evaluation within a few time only after you finish the exam. So I was able to score near to about seventy eight percent because my both coding problems were correct and rest of the MCQs whatsoever were they. There were some sort of percentage that got wrong there because I just attempted that within a few time. So that's it about impact analytics. All about these are the four exams that I have given. Based on these topics, I would be asking or urging everyone to please look onto Grabs DP more carefully. Uh, any product based companies that I am writing for the past six months, eight months, I would be saying onto their OA uh, Grabs and DP are uh, definitely coming in terms of their uh, problems. Either your first question would be corresponding to that of these topics, or second question would be a must. So please, please have some hands-on solve a few problems and then uh, try to attempt these uh, try to attempt these exams. I would be saying that, and uh, that's all for this video. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, let's uh, meet with the updates in the next video. Thanks all. Bye.